Genesis, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, and Job, Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, and Hosea. Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Alrighty, Desert Breeze kids. So our big idea for today is God helps me learn from my mistakes. God helps me learn from my mistakes. Now, have you ever had a helium-filled balloon and you were holding onto it by a string, but then something distracts you and then you accidentally let it go and oh, you see it float up into the sky. Well, if you're given the opportunity, you, you may get another one, but this time you're actually paying really close attention and learning from your mistake to not let it go or to be distracted. In the same way, sometimes when we make a mistake, we need to remember we're not doomed, but we can always correct it. And most importantly, God will help us learn from our mistakes if we are seeking it out. But that's what our big idea in our story about is today is about a guy named Samson and how he made a mistake, but also how he had to remember to learn from his mistakes. So let's check in and watch our story for today. It's time for our Bible story. Our story today is about a man named Samson. And one thing you need to know about Samson is that he was strong. I mean, super strong. God had given him this super strength to fight for God's people. Another thing you need to know about Samson, the thing that all his enemies wish they knew, is the secret to his strength. It was his hair. Who would have guessed that? But it was true. If he cut his hair, he would lose his strength. It's not because he had magic hair, though. It was because Samson's long hair was a symbol of how much he loved God. So he was strong because God was with him. One more thing you need to know about Samson. He was in love with a girl named Delilah. Sadly, Delilah didn't feel the same way about Samson. So she made a deal with Samson's enemies. If she found out the secret to his super strength, and told them they would pay her lots of money. So Delilah asked Samson what his secret was. Samson knew that sharing this secret would be a big mistake. So three times he told her it was something else until Delilah finally wore Samson out. He was so tired of her asking that he gave in and told her the secret. He had made a big mistake. His enemies captured him and they did lots of mean things to him. Later, Samson's enemies were having a party to celebrate getting the best of their strongest foe. They brought Samson out to make fun of him in person. Samson prayed to God. He had learned from his terrible mistake and now prayed that God would give him strength once again so he could knock down the pillars he was resting against and bring down the house, literally. God heard Samson and was with him. Even though he had made a mistake, God gave him strength to bring down the house. Samson reminds us that we all make mistakes, but God never leaves us, even when we mess up. You can always be sure, God helps me learn from my mistakes. The story of Samson can be found in Judges chapter 16, verses 17 through 30. Now, mistakes happen, as we can even see in today's story, but and instead of letting our mistakes get us down, we can find ways to repurpose them and turn them into good things. I mean, who do you think can help us with that? Well, 
God can. And we can definitely pray to him and ask how we can learn from um, our mistakes in the past. And that's my challenge to you all this week, is if you ever mess up, pray to God and see, okay, God, what can I learn from this mistake? And make the changes necessary to see how God can help you improve. But that's our big idea from today is that God helps us learn from our mistakes. So let's see how Carl is doing with today's big idea and check in with him. Now once again, welcome to TV. What's up, Carl? Oh, the usual, just living my life, busy as a bee. You know, if that bee had a full-time job and had beautiful, luscious locks. What about you, Andy? Big plans for the weekend? I was actually gonna ask for your help because there's this big summer parade coming up and I was gonna- A parade? <laughs> Andy, you know how much I love parades. I do? Of course, you silly bald man. Parades are like a fancy buffet of entertainment on wheels. So you'll help me? Of course, what do you need? Something flexible? Charismatic? A singer? Well, I need someone strong. Excuse me? Strong. You know in parades when they have those giant big balloons floating around? Oh, oh yeah. Well, I just need one more person to hold onto the rope so they don't fly away. Well, you came to the right guy, Andy. By that time, I'll be the strongest guy around. How's that? I've seen you break a sweat lifting up an Oreo. In my defense, they were double stuffed Oreos, okay? Plus, I got a drink that makes me really strong. That really works? Well, of course. Look at this. How does that prove that it actually worked and you're actually strong? Ye have little faith. Observe. That thing isn't even real. Let me see. See? All right, crush. Easier than it looks. Told you so. Jada! Hey guys, how y'all doing? Pretty good, I was just telling Andy how strong I am. Wow, is that true Andy? Is he really strong? Apparently. That's great because today's story has something to do with someone who was also very strong. Are you talking about my cousin Brock? <laughs> nope, mm-mm. I was curious because he did watch the end of Avengers like four times and didn't cry at all. He's super strong. <laughs> nope, but I was talking about Samson. Of course, I love the story of Samson. Do you remember that story, right, Andy? You may have to jog my memory. All right, well, this story is in Judges 16. Now, when Samson was born, his parents promised to God that their son would commit to the Nazarite vow. Which was a promise to God, and it also meant that Samson was never supposed to cut his hair. Carl, you didn't take the Nazarite vow, did you? Canary to popular belief, I have not. So back, back to what you said before, Samson was really strong? Like crazy strong, like the strongest man on the planet. How, did he work out a lot? Well, it was a strength given to him by God. And as long as Samson kept the Nazarite vow and didn't cut his hair, he would have that strength. So Samson was a good guy that always followed and listened to God? Well, like anybody, Samson made mistakes and he made enemies with a group of people called the Philistines. Well, they all wanted to find out where Samson's power came from, so they went to the woman that Samson was in love with. Delilah? Yes, look at you starting to remember things. They offered money to Delilah, and in return, she would tell them how Samson got his strength. Well, that's mean. It was, but Samson was smart. When asked where he got his strength, he tricked Delilah three times. Yep, he wouldn't tell her the truth, but eventually she got upset. She's like, you keep lying to me. Like, how, how can you love me if you don't tell me the truth? <laughs> Yikes, well, what did Samson do? He finally gave in and told her the truth. And when Samson fell asleep, she cut off all his hair. Then the Philistines came in and took Samson to be their prisoner. Oh, that's awful. He messed up big time. He sure did. They took him in and placed him against the pillars of the building the Philistines were in. And then, can you guess what Samson did next, Andy? Did he pray? He did pray. He cried out to God. And he asked for mercy and help to fight the Philistines now that his strength was gone. And it happened, right? It sure did. Even though Samson had 
broken rules and made mistakes, God had mercy on Samson. And that's exactly what God will do for us. Because I know more than anyone, I've made plenty of mistakes. Me too, and I know I'm gonna make a whole lot more mistakes in the future. But do you really think that God's gonna forgive us and help us learn from our mistakes? Of course, that's one of my favorite things that I've been taught. God helps me learn from my mistakes. Jada, that's a big idea! Today's big idea is God helped me learn from my mistakes. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. God, God helps, helps me, me learn, learn from, from my, my mistakes. mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Let's review our verse, which is found in Micah 6, 8b. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Micah 6, 8b. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. This is DB Kids. Stay tuned next week. Same time, same place. Hope you guys have a good one.